Hey guys, it is Saturday morning and I have been cleaning my house a whole bunch this morning and I thought that I would share something kind of different with you today and yes, I've been cleaning my house with this red lip because I just couldn't resist trying out this new lipstick and so far I really like it. So even though I have next to no makeup on, rocking the red lip. Anyway, as I'm cleaning my house, I'm kind of looking around and over the past year probably I've been making this trend toward minimalism. Not extreme minimalism. I actually read a really great blog about something they called cozy minimalism and I think I fall more in that category. I just don't like there to be a lot of clutter and excess and multiples of things. Now I say that as there's like tons of stuff behind me, but that's because I wanted to share a bit of a declutter with you today. So one of the things in my life that I think I have never decluttered really is jewelry. And I am not the kind of person that has lots of money to spend on jewelry. So most of the things that I have come from places like uh, Charming Charlie or you know, department stores on the little racks, like nothing super fancy. I have my wedding ring, of course, that is like my fine jewelry, and that is honestly about it. So all of the jewelry I'm going to share with you is sort of, I guess, what you'd call costume jewelry. And I just find myself wearing certain things so often and neglecting others, and I thought, why am I holding on to all of this? So I'm going to go ahead and share the process of decluttering all of that with you, but I wanted to show you kind of how I store my jewelry as well. So one thing I find is that I forget to wear my jewelry unless I can see it. So I've actually used this belt rack, which I hang in my closet um, so that I have it there like with my outfit so that I can easily pull and pick um, necklaces from it. So that's one thing that I really liked in terms of organization. I am going to go through this. This is probably one of the things that I have edited the most along the way, so I might not be getting rid of a lot of these things, but, um, but I still want to walk you through it and walk you through what I'm keeping. And I wanted you to see how I organize it because I find that really helpful. If I can see it, I'm much more likely to wear it. My other main mode of jewelry storage is this guy, which I'm sure you've seen if you frequent Target like I do, but this was like a $20 mirrored box um, and it has nice sort of velvet lined drawer so your jewelry doesn't roll around or get tangled up. So I have just these three drawers full of some other necklaces, bracelets, and earrings. So I'm going to walk through each of those drawers as well and see what's worth keeping. And then I have this little container which just sits in a drawer in my bathroom. So this is like, you know, a pair of earrings that I've worn and I'm just taking off and I want to throw someplace. I throw them in this little container. Um, and then, so these are sort of the things that I find that I wear the most often. And I want to walk through this and see what I really wear, see what I don't really wear, and what on earth has collected in this little container. So I'm going to walk you through this as well. All right, these are my most worn things, so I think I'm going to save those for last, and I am going to pull in some of these drawers from my little three-drawer jewelry guy. So in the top drawer, I have just a few chain sort of necklaces. Um, let's go ahead and start with this one. This is a necklace that I got from Loft a while ago, and I really like the little baubles of beads and stuff on it. So this is definitely one that I wear. It's kind of a shorter necklace, like maybe collar length or hangs down, you know, to the end of like a v-neck. So I do like that one and I'm going to keep it. Along those same lines, around the same length, is this one. This one was from Charming Charlie and just some cute baubles on the end. If you have any recommendations on how to clean this, I don't think this is any kind of fine metal, you know, but um, if you have any recommendations on how to shine it up a little bit, you can see how much darker this one is than this one, and I'm pretty sure they were the same at one point. I also have this one, which is a finer chain, and um, this, which is actually a Dutch button from the Netherlands. It's my husband's heritage, and um, his mom traveled there and brought me back this. They actually, I guess the idea was the size of the button correlated to your wealth, so they would have buttons, 
you know, really elaborate buttons on jackets and things like that. And now the button is just sort of a um, charm or medallion that people wear as jewelry. But I thought that was a really kind of beautiful piece of history. But this is silver and it absolutely needs to be shined up. It's looking pretty tarnished. So I need to give this some love and I will definitely wear it. This is just a delicate gold chain. Um, I don't like this type of chain. I don't know if you can see it, but it's like, uh, it kind of reminds me of the 80s. I, that's the only way I can think of to explain it, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this. I'm not really even sure where that is from. Oh, maybe this went on it, some kind of charm. Not a big fan of heart charms and gold, so that's going to get passed on. This is also just like a shiny silver chain. This one shines up really nice and looks really sparkly. I don't have any charms on it right now, but maybe this is something I would wear. I kind of feel like I remember this one pulling my hair. Do you guys ever have that with like certain kinds of chains sort of pull out your hair when your hair gets like caught along the edges of it. So I'm going to try this one on and see if that's the case. And if so, I'm definitely going to get rid of it. But if not, this does shine up to a really nice sparkly silver. So I might keep it to put other charms on. And then this last one was from like Kohl's a while back or something like that. I think I had a matching set of earrings and it's just one of those amber looking Swarovski crystals. And I like it, but I don't love it, and I like honestly never reach for it, so I'm going to go ahead and pass that one along. All right, this drawer, I feel like we're going to do a lot of damage because I, this is all bracelets, and I really don't wear bracelets. There's something about bracelets for me that, like, I love the idea of it, and I see people wearing bracelets, and I'm like, oh my gosh, that's so cute. And then I just don't wear them because it bothers me for some reason to have something like clanking on my wrist when I set my arms down on things. I don't know. It just weirds me out. So um, there's only a few in here that I know that I definitely wear. So I'm going to go ahead and start with some of the chunkier, more ugly old ones. There is this guy, which is like all scratched up and really clunky. That one's going to go. There's this one. I think this belonged to a family member at some point. Um, but again, clunky and not my style at all. So that one is going to go. This one is totally costume jewelry and it's a stretchy like diamond situation that does tend to like pull at my skin or hairs as it stretches. I wore it on my wedding day though and it was really shiny and pretty then. So I feel a little bit nostalgic about it. I'm not sure if I can clean it up. If I can clean it up, then I am going to keep it because it's sentimental. Um, and it's flat, so that is something that I might actually wear. So I'm going to try to give that one some love. Uh, this was a watch that my husband got me on an anniversary, and it has nice little diamonds along the side. The I wore it like daily though, even though it was like a finer watch and I probably shouldn't have done that as an art teacher because the glass is all scratched up. Definitely going to keep it. I really do like it and it's like my dressy watch, I guess, but um, I need to see if I can get the glass replaced maybe. All right, another chunk chunky bracelet. I like that it's mixed metals, but I don't wear chunky bracelets. Why did I buy this? Okay, this one is one that I actually wear, and I think the reason is it's stretchy, so it can lay flat on my wrist without being like clingy or jumbling around. And because it's beaded pearls, they're very smooth. They lay flat against my skin, so this one I actually really enjoy wearing. It's like the only bracelet I enjoy. Here is one that has pretty little crystals, but it is so clunky, it drives me crazy. I have to get rid of it. This is a little rose gold band, super cute, but I don't wear it. I just don't. I am not, not a big bracelet wearer. I don't know what to do. This one is really fine and nice. Like I should wear this. I think I'm going to keep it. If I end up having like three bracelets, then that should be a reasonable amount to wear, don't you think? This was something I made like ages ago with some old beads and no, I'm getting rid of that. 
Um, another beaded bracelet. Again, I don't like the way these feel against things. They're pokey. Look, it like left dents in my wrist. No, getting rid of that. Uh, this one as well. This one at least is stretchy and the beads aren't pokey, but it's still just too jangly for me. I can't, I can't do it. All right, now these two, this is going to be hard because I don't wear these, to be honest with you, but um, they're really pretty. These were from Loft, and I think it's so cute how they're little fake diamonds that have ribbon sort of around them. I don't know, I just think the ribbon combination with the diamonds is really feminine and cute. And my favorite part about these bracelets, and why I have two, because I loved it so much, is that when you wear it, it clasps shut via a magnet. So you just get them close together and they clack shut. Isn't that so stinking cute? I just think that's really fun. So I think I have to keep both of these, to be honest, because they do lay flat, they're comfortable to wear, and I just love the design of them. I think they're really neat. So I'm gonna keep that. This one, I am keeping this one to see if I'll wear it. Um, if I don't, then I'm gonna end up getting rid of it. This one, because I really do like it and wear it, and this one for the nostalgia, and I'm gonna see if I can shine it back to the silver that it once was. Okay, so I'm gonna put that and my watch back in the drawer. Feeling pretty good about that. All right, you guys, we have a no man's land here of random odds and ends, earrings mostly, I think. So we're gonna go ahead and just dive into these. Um, so let's look here for a second. This is, oh, this is weird. Okay, so I had a rose gold thing for a while and I really like like dangly earrings. So I grabbed these cause they're super cute, right? But they're this sort of dangly situation with this kind of clasp on the back, and I really dislike how these like wear on my ears. So I'm gonna pass those on. I never wear them. I think like ages, ages ago, I received these little heart earrings. They're um, real gold and they're rubies, which is my birthstone. Um, but it's so not my style and I don't wear them, so I'm gonna pass those on. Um, these used to be silver, <laughs> so those are really tarnished. Uh, the gray is kind of pretty, but no, you can like see on the underside how they used to be silver. That's crazy. But these, for some reason, really bother my ears. So they, I don't know what it is about, I think where the like ball of this connects with the post, it's kind of pokey and it sort of jabs my ears, so I'm getting rid of those. All right, I have a pair of pearls that I got from Hawaii. I actually really like these. These are light pink pearls. The only problem is um, they fell off the post. One of them fell off the post, so I haven't been able to wear them. But I really do like them, so I think I'm gonna keep them and I'm gonna repair that. Along with that though was this really like cheapo cheapo ring, just a pearl like mounted on like the most basic ring, ring base you can imagine. So I'm gonna get rid of this one. All right, I've got a couple of bobbly beady earrings. They are just so tarnished and old, they're gonna go. I have a charm that I don't even know where it came from, that's gonna go. I have these earrings, which are some kind of metal that does not work for me and irritates my ears. They're kind of like a really big chunky chain link. I think the design is kind of cute, but no, they're gonna go. Um, these are some that I made with beads and I really liked them at the time, but they're real tarnished now, so they're gonna go. These little bows were super cute and I like the style, but they're like not nice metal. So what I need to do is find, you know, something that's like actual gold or actual sterling silver bows and get earrings that I can actually wear without hurting me. <laughs> so these are just not comfortable and I have to get rid of them. I need to buy not cheap jewelry. More cheap jewelry. I think these came with like a necklace or something. No. Um, some shell earrings that I made. I just don't find myself wearing them, so those are gonna go. I feel like everything in this container is gonna go. 
these were cute. I actually really like these like chandelier hanging ones. I think these came from Loft as well. I really like Ann Taylor Loft's jewelry, but the posts really bother me. You know what? Maybe I could just buy sterling silver posts and still wear the dangles. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to repair those because I think they're really fun and I love dangly earrings on me. These were silver. Um, they're super duper tarnished now. They're going to go. These I don't like. I just don't like them. They're too chunky for me. They look cute, but they are heavy on my earlobes. They have little mini earlobes and no. Okay, these were earrings that I wore a ton at one point, and I really like how they dangle. I loved these. I stopped wearing them, I think, because they started to tarnish a little bit. You guys, I just need to learn how to clean my jewelry, I think. I don't really know the right things to use for different metals. So these are like a silver, probably a coated metal. They're, they weren't expensive in any way, but I really like the style. So if you know how to clean them, please tell me because I do want to wear these. I'm going to try to do a repair or cleaning on those as well. Um, these came from Kohl's. They were like the Simply Vera Wang situation. I wear a lot of blue and I like the way blue looks on me, but these earrings, um, they're too cheap of a metal and they really hurt my ears. These were, oh, there's that post that I need to repair those earrings. Okay. These were a beaded earring a dangly beaded earring that I actually really liked and it looks like I lost a post at some point and stopped wearing them but I really do like these. I love a nice little teardrop dangle so I think I'm gonna again do a little repair work and replace this part of it with a nice sterling silver loop that I can use and I'm gonna wear these again. Okay these I don't even know. They're kind of cute posts. I don't know, but no. There's a bobby pin in here. These were a gift, and these are really cute. They're like a loop, but there's sort of this pretty fern pattern that makes up half of the loop. I love these. Uh, but again, they are tarnished, and I need to get my jewelry cleaning game on so that I can wear these. So I'm going to keep those and clean them. This is one earring that a friend left behind a long time ago, and I meant to send it to her, and I never did. I guess I better check and see if she still wants it, um, or even has the other pair before I get rid of it, but otherwise I'm going to get rid of that one. All right, so I have some dangly earrings that I'm keeping that I'm going to clean up, some repairs that I'm going to do to some jewelry. I'm kind of excited about that, to refurbish some old, like, lost loves. All right, let's dive into this little dish now. I want to take a look at what on earth is in here and what is worth keeping and what is just like lost in the mix. So let's dive in and see. First of all, there's a little hair tie. So let's ditch him out of there and let's just dump this and see what's going on. Oh my goodness. Are you like me? Do you just accumulate so many random little things that you think are cute at some point, but then it's like they just go unnoticed? Please tell me it's not just me. All right, here is another like beaded bracelet. This one, you know what? This one's kind of cute. They're rounded beads, so they're not pokey. It's stretchy um, and it fits tight enough that it's not loose and like falling all over the place. I think I can get behind this. I'm gonna throw this in my bracelet drawer. Okay, let's start with the biggest, most obvious ones. These are super cute earrings. I think these came from New York and Company. Um, so again, not any kind of expensive metal, but I really like them. And I better just go through and the ones that I'm wearing um, clean so they don't end up like all of these crazy tarnished ones that I had. So I really like these and I'm going to keep those. These are another pair that I wear all the time and I love, so I'm going to keep those. They're like little silvery medallions. These are kind of similar, at least they, oh my gosh, untangle there. They kind of remind me of um, 
these other ones that I showed you, they're different, but they're kind of similar in effect, but I really like them. I just find that they can get irritating on my ears. So I think I'm going to do a little repair with these and just make sure that I buy some sterling silver because that doesn't seem to bother me. Um, some sterling silver little loops or whatever these are called. They're not posts, right? But whatever, the curved ones, and I'm going to replace them so that I can keep wearing these because I really do like the style. So I'm going to place those in there. Okay, these were kind of like those bow earrings. I thought the design was super cute. It's just like folded metal flowers, but there's something super pokey about where the metal meets the post, and they really irritate me, my ears, so I'm going to have to get rid of those. Okay, let's look at some loves and hates. I don't, I guess I shouldn't say hate, but these are not favorites of mine, these little beaded bobbly things. They're um, they're like little pinky rosy beads. I don't know. I bought them because a student was participating in a craft sale and I wanted to support her jewelry making. So I ended up buying like two pair that she had some like deal going on, like buy two for 20. I, I don't even remember what the price was, but it was super cute. So um, I picked up these and I've worn them from time to time, but I just don't find myself loving those. So I think I'm going to pass those on. But the other pair that I got from her, honestly, are probably my favorite earrings ever. I love them so much. They're this creative combination of chain and turquoise beads. I absolutely adore these. So I am definitely keeping these. I love them. Okay, I love these delicate little, they're like negative space teardrops or leaf earrings and they are rose gold but they're a higher quality metal these were a gift from my sister-in-law Sarah and I really love them I wear these often so I'm definitely keeping these all right these were cheapy cheapo metal beaded earrings I just can't get behind the cheapo metal because it irritates my ears uh, these were the earrings that I was talking about that went with that uh, Swarovski necklace. Eh, they don't do much for me, so getting rid of those. Um, another cute set of little gold earrings. I like these little like cut metal designs. I just think they're really interesting. So I'm going to clean those up and wear those. All right, I'm changing my tune on my nickel-free Target earrings. Uh, the nickel-freeness just wears away too quickly from like whatever the actual metal base is. So even though Target has these super cute like fashion earrings, <laughs> I just can't, I can't wear them long term because of the wear on the metal and then they start to irritate me. So boo, I thought that was like a really good find, that nickel-free selection that they had but it's not, not good for like long-term use. Like right away, yes, they're great. If you want to wear them for a few months, awesome. But if you want them to last, not so much. So I'm going to pass those on. Another bobby pin, another bobby pin. All right, this is a charm actually from a really good friend. Um, I was in her wedding and she bought us a little Tiffany charm and these are um, linked hearts. Now I'm not a big fan of like where was that gold thing? Like, I don't know, like full on heart, but this is very sort of like abstract cute heart. And I love this and it's sentimental. So I'm definitely keeping that. I'm going to clean it up. So I'm going to put it with all the things that I'm cleaning. Okay. Let me just in the rest of this chaos, pull out whatever is like fake metal stuff that I'm really just not going to wear and set it aside. And then I'll show you what's left that I'm actually keeping. All right, so I have sorted these out. This little pile is all just cheapo metal stuff that's got to go. And I am keeping these. These are some of my favorite earrings. They're a cute little flat shell with a uh, metal charm that lays in front. And I just love the way they look. And I even love the way they like clink. 
<laughs> while I'm wearing them on my ears. I think they're really cute. So I've had these forever. They've never irritated me. Um, I really like them. So I'm keeping those. Ah. These are a sterling silver. And so the metal is fine on my ears and the pattern is cute and they dangle, which I love. These are maybe the only posts I'm keeping. Um, these are just solid sterling silver discs and I think they're really cute and they are seamless from disc to post so they just look cute on the ears. Okay and then three little pairs of beaded jewelry. So I have these black and gray. They kind of go from um, they kind of go from black to gray to white so it's like this gradation of beads so I'm going to keep those. Um, these I got when I worked at the Grand Rapids Art Museum in Michigan when I was in college and so they are nostalgic for me but I also like the beading pattern on them and I like the way they dangle so I'm keeping those and these were the last pair that I bought from that student and I thought she did a really good job with the combination of like the bronzy browns and creams and the gold so but everything is on sterling silver posts so they actually don't irritate my ears love these Okay, you guys, I have sorted through my like hanging necklaces that I showed you before that I have on that little belt rack. And I just wanted to show you what I'm getting rid of. Um, I'm getting rid of this one. This was from, shoot, I don't remember. Was it Charming Charlie? Yeah, this is from Charming Charlie. And no, I don't remember where this was from. Okay, so I'm getting rid of this one. This one is a combination of gold and rose gold, but the chain is super cheapo metal that's just coated and fading and ick. So I'm getting rid of it. I need to stop buying super cheapo things. That is the moral of this entire story. Same here. Ew, don't like it. This was one that I loved once upon a time. It was like this super chunky necklace um, from Loft. And I just feel like this is kind of like out of style now. And I, living in like a warm climate, having something super chunky around my neck is uncomfortable. So I'm getting rid of that. Even though I think it's pretty still, it's just, I don't wear it. I do like like overly long necklaces. Um, this one is kind of interesting because it's like multiple chains, but it's like dip dyed. So it's silver on top down to black at the bottom, but I just don't find myself wearing it often and I'm gonna get rid of it. This one was a, this one was a gift, but I don't love the length of it. It's just kind of meh looking around my neck, like kind of like old lady-ish. So I'm gonna get rid of that one. This one too, just multiple layers of beaded, whatever, bobbliness. Uh, it doesn't do much for me anymore. And then this one, this little style of bead was like in for a while and there were some really elaborate chunky necklaces with that kind of thing going on and I just couldn't get behind that so I went with this one. But now it's just kind of like fading metal, old medallion over it. All right, you guys, let's take a look at what I'm getting rid of. I don't feel like organizing this to actually count the pieces, so I apologize if you find like the count at the end really satisfying. I do too, but I just don't want to. So I'm getting rid of necklace after necklace. I'm getting rid of a billion earrings, it feels like. And honestly, it feels good. Like all of this is just taking up space and never being worn a billion bracelets that were never being worn, some chunky bracelets that super weren't being worn, some old things that came from family but from who knows when, and a few odd bobby pins. All right, you guys, all of that is going to be now out of my life so that I can make room for the things that I'm actually wearing. These are like my top worn pieces in here. And then the rest of the items that I definitely want to get more wear out of, I want to clean and fix up and just remember to use. So I'm really happy with how much I have left. I feel like it's manageable and doable and I am getting rid of all of this excess. Thank you so much for watching. I know this was not a makeup video, but I hope that you enjoyed that and that if you are in the same boat where you just collect a bunch of things that you feel inspired to go through and treat yourself with just keeping what you love.
get rid of the clutter. All right, you guys, I hope you're having an amazing day and I will catch you next time. Bye.